Ora bem, meus amigos, temos o Housing System revelado pela PC Gamer uh, para assistir. Pá, há gente que estava muito hyped com isto, portanto vamos ver o que é que eles têm para mostrar. Housing System do Guild Wars 2 em detalhe, pelos vistos. Eu sou Phil, da PC Gamer, e isto é um exclusivo look at Homestead, a nova player housing feature arriving em Guild Wars 2's next expansion, Foram Jam inteligentes em pôr isto na PC Gamer. A Reunionet calls Homestead the most player-friendly housing system in MMOs. Uh -huh. Your home will exist as its own instance, rather than being one of a limited number of plots in a larger district. Okay. So, unlike a game like Final Fantasy XIV, you won't get the same neighborhood feel but the benefits should be pretty obvious. Okay. You don't have to enter a lottery to claim your land. Certo. And there's no chance of getting evicted if you don't regularly log into the game. Instead, you just get access to your homestead naturally during the campaign. Internet didn't go into too much detail about the story of the new expansion, but your new home is related to its new faction, the Lowland Kodan. The aesthetic reflects their cozy cabin vibe. So obviously mm -hmm. the main draw with a player housing system is decoration, the ability to customize your space. But okay. there are a couple of neat features built into the homestead. First off, they act as a sort of showroom for your in-game collection of skins and cosmetics. Oh, for wow. this playtest, ArenaNet provided me with a preview account full of characters, all of them named after members of the PC Gamer team. Here wow. they are now, just hanging out. Olha que fixe, fact, man. Any that you leave in the homestead will appear wow, when you visit one of the minhas characters. Wow, dá-me pôr as minhas personagens lá. Up to 30 can sit around at a time. There's even wow. a cave over here with a bunch more of them. Wow. Your mounts are here too. You can find them resting over by the Olha stables. Olha que fixe, man. Meaning you at last have a way to enjoy Brutal. the fancy jackal skin that you got. Because, let's be honest, how often are you actually using it in the game? Será que isto... Desculpem lá. Será que isto vai ter ligação com o um próximo Guild Wars? É porque isto, isto faz muito lembrar o Wall of Monuments do Guild Wars 1. Mounts, it's pretty cute. If you hop on a map, it leaves you stable. Even if an ult was sitting on it. And okay. if we head over here behind the lumber mill and over to the pier, it's your skiff. It's a small touch, but having a home for your mounts and vehicles is a nice shorthand okay. for cementing this as your own personal gire, space. Gire, gire. Okay, the fun little aesthetic touches are all well and good, but one of my first questions when ArenaNet was explaining the homestead system was about resource nodes. You see, Guild Wars 2 characters already have a little personal space for themselves. Sure. It's uh, based in their starter city, it's called a home instance. Yeah. There's probably a bunch of players that have totally forgotten these even exist. Por acaso nem por isso, uh, as pessoas this, continuam a ir lá. It's a daily ritual to visit and gather Sim. materials yeah. from any resource nodes we've unlocked or purchased. Mm -hmm. All of those resources are now also available in your homestead. Ok. As are just. any of the cats you've discovered around the world and just. persuaded to Portanto, move in. Uma personal all of it just carries over. There's also a neat little new option that should make the gathering ritual a little less onerous. Uh, if we head over to this box, there's just an auto collect button and it instantly completes any node attached wow. to the building. This function won't be available when Jamf here was launches. ArenaNet plans to add it during one of the quarterly updates following okay. the expansion's okay. release. But Just. even in the short term, the resource nodes here are much more efficient. Bem, vai ficar muito barato os materiais todos. By which I mean the grove. Over in this building, Jesus. you will find the crafting bench that lets you create new decorations okay. to customize your homestead. It's a completely separate system anyway. from the scribing profession used to decorate guild halls, but the uh -huh. benefit of that is it's going to be a lot cheaper to craft items. Okay. You will need to Homesteader, então é basicamente uh... Uma, uma, nova, uma nova crafting uh, profession. Convert some of your materials into a new homestead crafting resource. Ok, uh, And then combine it with some other resources to add that decoration to your library. I should say here... Eu não sei uh, se vou gastar muito tempo nisto, mas... I'm playing, so there are a bunch of placeholder icons and text throughout the build. Don't worry if you see a little, little dick inside. Homestead crafting won't be tied to crafting XP at all. Instead, you'll unlock more advanced levels through the mastery system by okay. earning experience in the expansion's new maps. Over 300 okay. decorative items will be available when Janthir Wilds launches, uh, with ArenaNet saying more will be added through festivals and quarterly updates to follow. In total, there should be around 800 decorations that will be craftable by the end of the expansion's update cycle. The majority Parece of these will be in the game, game although, although yes, some de will skins. be exclusive to the Black Lion Gem Store. ArenaNet stressed to me any decorations bought either with real money or by converting your in-game gold into gems will give you multiple copies of that item to place automatically okay. and also a recipe so you can craft as many of that item as okay, you want in the okay. future. If you've tried decorating a guild hall in the game, uh, you'll know it's currently pretty basic. 
Yeah. You grab a decoration, place it on the map, maybe spin it around a bit. Uh, really, that's it. For homesteads, the entire decoration system has had a pretty major overhaul. For the playtest, okay. ArenaNet dropped me into a homestead that one of the developers had already started to decorate. Wow. Rather than a static prop, these houses over here are uh, built from various floor tiles that have been repurposed as walls and roofing. Uh, the same with this lighthouse, which has been created from lots of individual pieces all fitted together. Now Bro, you what the hell? piece and realize, oh god, that's way too big. You've got some options to turn it into what you want. There's multiple skills on the menu that let you change the position, the rotation, the scale of the item. Bro, uh, what the hell? can even be moved into the ground or into the air or into each other. Um, Tem engraçado este sistema, por acaso. You can make it fit your needs. It's a pretty robust set of tools. Uh, you can even realign the pop-up arrows to be pointed at the map's global X and Y axis okay. or locally based on the way the decoration is facing. And okay, you can copy okay. the scale and rotation of your last placed item so you can more easily reuse tiles when you need to put a lot of them together for a desired effect. Even once they're placed, you can switch to fine tune things Wait. after the fact. There's even a new X-ray vision mode uh, so that you don't lose items. Desculpem lá, malta, é que isto eu não sei porquê. De repente ficou a 360p. Talvez o. Pois é, a minha net que está a fraquejar. Como é normal nesta altura do campeonato. Vou pôr a 360p outra vez. Ui, agora se calhar já não dá. Rip. Pronto, olha aí, malta. Ah, ok. Ah, uh, you just pop it on a nuke. Pelo menos a 480. Não me digam que não. Ou oh, a 720. Então queria acabar isto. Fogo. Caraças, pá, está difícil, malta. Olha, não sei se vamos conseguir acabar este vídeo. Lamentavelmente. Mas, pá, estava-vos a dizer, por acaso isto não é muito a minha onda. Eu não, não adoro este tipo de, de conteúdo no GW. Pá, não, não sou muito fã de estar a customizar coisas e a pôr, e a pôr casinhas e a virar coisas. Uh, through... A minha neta está mesmo terrível. Esqueça, não consigo mesmo ver nada. Fogo, a sério. Vou pôr a 360p, mal velho. Do something else. Ah, ok. Uh, and let, let shoot. Yeah, isto não, não vai funcionar. You remove it more easily. Also, if you just need... A minha neta está mesmo terrível, desculpa, mal. Não estou mesmo a conseguir. Vou pôr isto a 360 e vamos ver a 360 porque agora já gravei a minha reação, não é? A different Exato. perspective while you're creating. Just turn into a bee and fly around. I'm not the type of... Mesmo a 360 is going to go deep on creating some grand elaborate build, but uh, even so, I had a lot of fun just messing around with the tools. Uh, Guild Wars 2's world map has expanded a lot over the last decade, so there's already a pretty broad set of decorations available, certo. with multiple regions and aesthetics. And it's kind of fun to experiment with what's there, even if the result is just some garish dragon statue barfing rainbows. There are also a couple of new types of decoration. I really like these armor stands, which let you create a statue of your character. You just place it down, interact with it, you can it all all of monuments what you're well. currently wearing. Uh, and then you can set it to one of a number Wind of fish. fun poses. It feels like a fitting way to honor the true end game. Wind fish. To fashion. There's a matching weapon stand too, so if you want to fill your home with reminders of the many, many hours you spent crafting legendaries, Fresh. you're good. Naturally, if you're going to show off your collection, you'll need to invite your friends along. And while they're there, if you trust them, you can let them decorate your homestead too. There's a special okay. permission in the menu Fish. that turns on group decorating, uh, but it does mean that they'll have access to your library and can just place and modify things around the map. Overall, I'm impressed with what I've sent. Player housing is one of the bigger features on the community's wish list. And eh. the tool set here... Por acaso não é das minhas, mas tudo bem. ...players create some really cool, surprising builds. It's certainly a huge improvement over what's currently in the game. Although, if you are a guild decorator looking on in Envy, ArenaNet did say that the new decoration skills and placement options are going to be ported over to guild halls too. Really, for me, it's the small okay. touches that I'm most excited about. A hangout from my old, a stable from my mouth. Nossa, eu volto a agir. Não precisamos lá nada. Está incrível como está. Eu gosto da ideia de ter um espaço que celebra as minhas atividades de desenvolvimento, seja por meio de decorações que reconhecem um grande acompanhamento de jogo de jogo, ou por meio de uma estátua que mostra uma armadura que eu gastei anos para fazer. Os jogadores de Guild Wars 2 vão poder obter seus próprios jogos. É, nós encontramos em Voyager. Quando Janthea Wilds se lançou. Ok, está bem. Está bem. Está bem. Está bem. É assim, como eu vos disse, isto não me entusiasma muito. Há muita malta que vai ficar louca com isto. Uh, eu, to be honest, não adoro. Tipo, não é a minha, não é a minha praia isto. 
Uh, mas confesso que está giro, está engraçado e portanto se a malta está entusiasmada, se a comunidade está entusiasmada com isto, eu também ficarei. Uh, isto está a funcionar muito como o Hall of Monuments do Guild Wars 1, como eu vos tinha dito, o Guild Wars 1 era muito assim que funcionava. Vocês adicionavam lá as vossas lendárias e armaduras e não sei o que, aquilo ficava lá em display. Uh, pá, aqui vai funcionar basicamente a mesma coisa. É um instant base content, eu preferi que fosse open world, mas tudo bem. Ok, certo, tudo bem. Eles não gostam, eles não são muito fãs de grind para ter coisas, portanto eu percebo que tenha sido assim. Mas pronto, pá, é uma feature gira para nós testarmos quando a expansão sair, mas não é nada que me vá motivar a 100% né, para, para jogar, ou seja, não me vai fazer entrar no jogo, com toda a certeza, mas pronto. Sim senhor, obrigado por verem, malta, vejo-vos no próximo. Grande abraço.